you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. going on guys this is Carl through Racer Red Channel riding in some snow today it's a beautiful day to ride and uh, we're riding on top of the snow at this point it looks like a couple inches so things get a little bit gnarly at this point when you start kind of floating around So we're up in the Owyhee Mountains. As you can see everybody's real cautious going down this. This is slick. Really got to read the terrain and try not to get off camber too much. Carrier momentum going up stuff like this. Staying loose, letting the bike move around. It's always embarrassing when I'm giving advice and I crash though, which is uh, completely possible for me to crash. I mean, snow is just one of those things that's not real predictable. Look at all these drifts. See if I can go through these. Whoa! <laughs> Getting a little loose. That drift was way bigger than I thought. Like this kind of makes me wish that we had gone further up in elevation because it's fun just to see, it's fun to see how gnarly you can get into this stuff. Good correction there by Sean. I don't know if you guys can see from your angle, but the valley down there below is a uh, where Melba Hemingway Butte is further down there. But you can see the valley doesn't have any snow. It's just slightly higher in elevation up here. And uh, you can really tell it's that time of year because it's gonna be down in the valley, I'm sure, pretty soon. Let's see if I can get off on this single track. Ooh, this is a deep rutted gnarly single track here. A little bit difficult. I take a lot of chances in this uh, in these conditions. So, therefore, I'm much more likely to crash. So I'm, it's all about staying, like, um, keeping, keeping the bike straight and, and not being off camber. But for me, I'm always trying to look for fun lines. So that's why every once in a while, you'll see me almost crash. Like, back there when I hit that snow drift, I thought it looked fun. But it uh, might have a little bit of cost taking risks like that. As 
long as it's not a cliff edge, I'm totally fine. I've got my knee guards on today. We're going down into this ravine. There's a wash down here. This is actually uh, perfect conditions for flying the drone since the snow creates a contrast behind me and uh, Also, we are going pretty slow, so the drone and footage is probably going to be pretty cool. You can see some flags out here on these bushes. Rain looks totally different. When it's all snowy like this. Obviously, but I mean it rides totally different. like some pretty fun riding. <laughs> I like it when it's sketchy like this. It really creates a different dynamic. This would normally be a pretty plain road, but with the snow on here it really adds a different dynamic where you have to watch all of the different angles. There's so much to riding a dirt bike. You don't really get a good grasp on it until you've done it. And mountain biking definitely, um, it correlates. It's the same thing pretty much as far as angles and all that. I should probably land it. The front tire is good. Yeah. I was say it looks like it would be good. Yeah. Yeah, I like how white it is. The problem with the Husky right now is it has a bib that doesn't fit it, so the front tire flops. Is it a super wide tire? This one is not as wide as I go for usually, but it's almost as wide. It works, it still works pretty good. I bought one from Proline that looks really wide. Yeah. See, this is where it gets a little bit more sketchy is when it's compacted like this, like when a car has gone over it, it becomes more like ice then. Still rideable though, as long as it's not actual ice.
I'm sure that battery won't last going these kind of speeds. Keeping up good. <laughs> Alright guys, well thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep this channel alive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace! Gotta make it a little further.